What's up, Battle Tested? This is Arlo, and today we're going to talk about one of our favorite recovery tools, the car buffer. So, car buffers come in different sizes, um, and it's actually nice to have a big one and a little one. So, you want to make sure you have the nice, fluffy, soft pad on it, and then I'll just take you through a few different places that we can work with the car buffer. Buffers are great for warming up. So between the vibration and the heat that it creates, the friction, it really helps to warm up the muscles pretty well. So we do this, we'll do this before a workout, um, before our dynamic warm up, just to get things warm before we start to incorporate movement. Um, we also use it a lot as recovery, post-workout or anytime something is overly tight. So we're gonna just turn this on and you can go right over your clothes Quads and hip flexors are a big one, so I'm just going to make sure to keep it moving because if you sit in one place for too long, it's not going to hurt, but it'll start to burn a little bit. Um, I don't think it's creating any lasting damage, but it does get a little irritating. So as long as you keep it moving, you should be all right. And focus on the tight spots. So I'll hit it with the main part of the buffer. And then actually for really tight spots, I'll get in with the edge of the buffer. And I can apply a little more pressure here and work through uh, vastus lateralis here, which is typically pretty tight. Work along the IT band. Focus on really tight areas or big knots with the edge of the buffer, which is going to be a little bit... Uh, you're going to be able to penetrate a bit deeper with the edge of the buffer and really work out those adhesions. Uh, for general warm-up, again, I just hit it all quick. And so, you can really get just about anywhere. I really like the big buffer for quads and hamstrings. I'll just come from behind. Same kind of thing, keep it moving. Then calves, I'll also do in a seated position from behind. Work up and down there. Warm those up, I can get my shins, same thing. Big buffer works really well for legs. Another thing that I really like to do with the big buffer is to get my lower back. So a lot of times people's lower backs are stiff and I can grab here with both hands with the large buffer. And then from here, actually, I like to start to incorporate movement where I'll start here and I will actually start to hinge over at the hips while working my lumbar spine and around the sacrum. So that's another great place to use the buffer. Another good thing with the large buffer that I will use it for is my forearms. So for this, I'm going to turn it around, I'm gonna turn it on, and then I can just sit the buffer on my lap and run my forearms. So here I'm getting my wrist, my wrist flexors. I'm gonna go all the way from the wrist, all the way up past the elbow. So triceps also. I'm just going to lean on to it here. And then for my wrist extensors, I'll flip palm up and get that as well. Those are the main things I use the big buffer for. Um, Again, if you stay in one place too long, it'll kind of tingle and burn a little bit and feel kind of weird. Um, but it's, it's probably not going to hurt you. Keep it moving would be your safest bet. Little buffer you can also do forearms with or anywhere else. I can also get my quads, my shins, my calves. Really, you can do anything with the little buffer. I just like the big one better because it covers more surface area at a time. Um, but when you start getting to shoulders, the little buffer is nice 
because it's easier to hold with one hand. Shoulders up in my traps. It's hard to buff your own upper back, but that also feels fantastic. So it's something that you can lay down on your stomach and have someone else run across your upper back and that works great. Otherwise, obviously, just whatever you can reach. Um, and again, I can get my triceps with the little buffer as well. So really the size of the area that you're doing kind of dictates which buffer works better for it, with the exception of your forearms, which you can use either one, but I do like the big buffer because I can kind of sit there and then just run my arm all over it. So buffer is a great recovery tool, great for warming up. We use it all the time. Um, and again, just remember you can use the flat part over large surfaces to really target little knots and adhesions or big knots and adhesions, I can turn it sideways and work the edge of the buffer in and apply a bit more pressure. So there you go, car buffer, great recovery tool. Try it out.